Good morning. I'm here to introduce our keynote speaker today, Pat Day. But before I do that, I just want to reflect uh, for a little bit on, on uh, the past year, my first year in office. Shortly after we were sworn in in December of 2015, and you know we're we're finding our way around the Capitol building, and uh, we were cleaning out one of the closets in my office, and we found a little plaque about this big, and it's a wood carving that says "Pray" on it. And first of all, I was stunned why anybody would stash that and you know bury it in the closet and not take it out, but it's now prominently displayed on my credenza, uh, underneath my computer monitor. And it's been a fitting reminder of the past year. Um, there's probably been more prayer in the Capitol building in the past 14 months than in the past 50 years. <laughs> and what, one of the highlights for me was a group of, of about 30 to 35 pastors, ministers, and preachers who came to my office, and my office is not as large as the governor's. Um, it's a small office, but they came specifically to pray for me, and then later they went to the governor's office to do the same thing. And it was so powerful. It was extremely powerful. And I told uh, Ruth, my assistant, to if we do that again, please don't schedule anything for the next two hours after that, because I just need to sit and reflect on that. But certainly the power of prayer, the need for prayer, it's, it's never been more evident than in the times we're in now. Uh, I've seen the watch, the, the tone, the incivility to where people of opposing viewpoints can't even speak to each other. Pray for us, pray for each other, pray for our, our, your city, your state, your nation. Uh, your leaders. Pray for Governor Bevan and, and myself that we will have the wisdom uh, to do what we need to do, that we will have the strength, uh, and, but just pray. I just implore you, if you do nothing else, pray for all of us because uh, so much is at stake right now. Um, last year when I came before you, I told you about a reminder that I set, a daily reminder that is set on my phone. Uh, and at the time, it was, it's not about you, it's about God. But I've changed that this year after hearing a, 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 a prayer that one of the deacons at my church, it was something he said during one, during one of his prayers. And he said, help me be a better servant. That's now my daily reminder because it reminds me to be a, a servant on multiple levels. Servants to my, my, my husband, my mom. Uh, the governor, the people of Kentucky, and above all else, a servant to God. And if I do at least that, then everything else falls into place. So that's my daily reminder, and I'm grateful to be here with you this morning.